Old unfinished business. We have the Criminal Justice Coordinating Committee. <coughs> so moved. This Support. <laughs> Keep talking. It's late. What do we do? We need to just reaffirm this. Do we need to appoint other people? So, what happens here? So yeah, for the first step is you should reaffirm it, recreates it, um, and then at some point we are going to have to appoint a criminal defense attorney to it, uh, as well as other members. Uh, but for for now, for tonight, all you got to do is reaffirm it. Okay, Tom. Uh, I just want to be clear for everybody, the public as well, obviously. Uh, the purpose of the mental health jail ad hoc and the purpose of the CJCC, I just want to be certain that there is not a misunderstanding as to which one group is doing the other group is doing, because my question would be, is the CJCC uh, overseeing any kind of uh, changes in the provision of mental uh, health care? And would we be uh, also, as I remember, when we formed the, the jail ad hoc, it included the mental health uh, care. And that, that was sort of our short-term um, concern at the jail was mental health services, not building a new jail. That's a longer-term concern. So is there a difference? Do these things overlap? Are we clear as to what the, the, ad, the difference between the ad hoc and the CJCC? Are we clear yes. about that? The, it says right in here, the committee shall collect and analyze data related to the county jail and criminal justice system that shall be used in future planning efforts and form the basis for any recommendations. So this would be, they are going to do needs assessment, master plan. These are the people that would provide for you the data that you would use to then make future decisions on the jail and, and, and do we need a new one, do we need refurbishment, things like that. This committee would get all the information together for you. Okay, so correct. we're gonna, we're actually, the, that, the, that's correct. the jail yes. ad hoc will give them a task, you know, do this, do that. Yeah. Or they, they already have person. their tasks okay. and they're, they would then bring those mm -hmm. things to the jail ad hoc, maybe with recommendations, maybe with just data, but they will be the support system for the jail ad hoc when you get down to the nitty gritty of how many beds do we need how much that sort of thing when when talking about refurbishing or building the jail yeah, it doesn't right. change your task at the beginning here to figure out sort of an immediate um band-aid sort of for the mental health issues in the jail yeah, th yeah. so so short term mental health that's my main concern right now not and that's what the jail, jail ad hoc committee is supposed to be working on right, right. now yes sir. so this committee just is a uh, information gathering and recommendations mm -hmm. and there, there's no power we don't make any decisions right. no they would bring they It'll would bring things the to the ad hoc uh, yeah. and the ad hoc would then yeah. yes cool but just so you know if we pass if we adopt this resolution as presented they do say that they are adding a representative from community mental health so mm -hmm. there is the community mental health component as well they so just I have a representative I think that speaks to Tom's question yes. <clears throat> cool. they will have a representative because community mental health does work in the jail yeah yes. I understand that. okay okay did we have a motion in a second we yeah. did who's, you... who's actually gonna head that up the um... they will choose a chair yeah they will choose a chair will they have a chair and a co-chair or just a chair or? I don't know what their bylaws say specifically okay. I'm just concerned that it actually has some teeth. Uh, it does. Because it didn't do much. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what, what happened the last time, but it goes back uh, to 2014 when the resolution uh, was there. And then it just sort of, I don't know. There was no money to do anything. Yeah. Was that, that the main so reason? So there was really, yeah. Yeah. I don't think There was not a big impetus to, to continue on yeah. once the data was collected, I think. And so it kind of. Yeah. Just I'm just, thought, well, I'm but just now concerned about us repeating ourselves. Uh, I don't think we are. With the addition no. of the jail ad hoc, I think there's there is a purpose now. And we're at a point where we're going to have to do something. Exactly. I, mean, I, I think this board has a resolution to make this happen. So, yes, yeah, I, I think I so too. Yeah. We're not going to let it fall through the cracks at all. It's got to yeah. happen. Yep, and it will have teeth, <laughs> yeah. and they will use them. <laughs> 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 okay, let's. We didn't catch the motion in the second. There was a lot going on. So who moved? Did somebody move this already? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I moved. 
Okay. And I probably supported it, maybe, or did you? No, I didn't. I think I had you, Johnson, as okay. supporting it. Okay, so, so commission, moved by Commissioner Gorfalot, supported by Commissioner Johnson. I know. <clears throat> All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, that is reinstated. We will get back to appointing certain people at a different time. Okay.